From our studios in New York, here again is Stone Phillips. So, which of our hair loss products and procedures works best? We're about to find out as we check in again with our five friends from Miami. And the results may surprise you. Once again, Rob Stafford. It's been almost six months since we last saw our follicle find. Each of our volunteers is trying a different hair growing treatment. And we've sent them back to Dr. Paolo Romanelli. Take a few more pictures. A professor with the University of Miami's dermatology department. Dr. Romanelli took photos of each of our volunteers at the start of this project and is now taking similar shots. Mainly looking at the crown, I think had some uh, substantial uh, results. As you'll later see, we'll be comparing those before and after pictures. And hear Dr. Romanelli's subjective opinion on who has and has not grown new hair. One dose in the morning and one dose in the afternoon. But first, we sat down with our five guys to hear what they think. And Joe, our oldest volunteer at 54, is disappointed. Joe, you're the teacher. What grade would you give your progress? Uh, D minus. Tough because, grader you are. Yeah, I don't see any difference. Joe is taking a double punch approach, using both of the only two FDA approved drugs for hair growth, Propecia and Minoxidil. Here's how Joe's hair looked six months ago and how it looks now. But where Joe does not see a difference, Dr. Romanelli sees some minor changes. Mild to moderate growth, some results, but not so spectacular. That's enough of an incentive to keep Joe trying the drugs for another six months. The manufacturer of Minoxidil says its product is most appropriate for men who have gradual hair loss on the top of their scalp and not for frontal baldness. Also, experts say it'll take about a year before our volunteers will truly know if their treatment is a success or a failure. And Propecia has the decreased sex drive side effect. Any problems there? There's no problems there in that department. Everything A-OK? -okay? Everything's A-OK. -okay. Where's my wife? Oh. <laughs> George. You're on the laser comb. Yes. Have you noticed a difference? You know what? I think I have. George, our twin who is married, says he regularly uses his laser comb. It's a $700 device that emits a low-level laser that's supposed to stimulate the scalp. This is George six months ago. Here he is now. Dr. Romanelli, who did not know what each of our volunteers was using, feels George had good results. I see some um, uh, new follicles. I think the results were very encouraging. That is fantastic. More hope into the future as I continue to use the, the comb. Richard, you had Propecia, right? Yes. Any change for you? It seems uh, quite fuller than it, than it was. And other people have commented on it, too. So that's, that's encouraging. Here's Richard, our single twin, six months ago. And here's how his hair looks now. Richard had some moderate growth, mainly in the bitemporal areas. Any of the ladies noticed a difference in the hair? Oh, yes. Especially the hair on my chest. They really like that. <laughs> but, but they really like the fact that I have a good combo effect now. Eat your waffle. Hector, our computer support technician, is taking Viviscal, the fish-based product imported from Finland. You told me that your expectations were very low. Right. Notice any change at all? The only change I've noticed is that my hair stopped falling out. This is how Hector's hair looked six months ago. Here's how it looks now. Hector, unfortunately, is the most disappointing one. On the bitemporal area, I don't see any growth. Still, Hector feels he has had some success because his hair has stopped falling out. It's also stopped drying out. Hector, it's 600 a year for Viviscal. I think it's worth it. If it helps you maintain what you have, I think it's definitely worth it. The company that makes Viviscal says people who are in the early stages of hair loss likely benefit most from using their product. Hector's been losing his hair for more than 10 years. But when it came to growing hair, there was unanimous agreement about our last volunteer. Take a look around. Who do you think grew the most hair? <laughs> yeah, he's getting a little cocky now. <laughs> More conceited yeah. now, yes. He's too confident now. We don't yeah. like him. But Paul was not feeling confident two weeks after he had his $10,000 hair transplant. 
Back then, he was in a panic. You know, I, I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> Spinned out considerably right there in that same area because in between that area, there was a lot of grafts put in that area. So. His scalp was traumatized right after the surgery, and he actually lost some of his existing hair. That looks good. The graft area looks good. Everything Ball's exactly doctor reassured him right it's not unusual to American lose hair right after a transplant. I just have to don my hat for a little while longer, and you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. But what's happened since then? Here's how Paul looked six months ago, and here's how he looks now. He's thrilled with his new growth. I definitely see substantial growth in the bitemporal areas, in the two temples. Every day I look at it, and it's like, wow, more hair is coming in. Hey, Paul. Hey, Doc. How's everything going, man? Good. Paul, who hasn't taken a family photo in you. years. Whoa, we've got some action going on up there. Yeah. Is changing. Yeah, He's become friends again with the mirror it's and something growing. else. I actually have my brush with me. <laughs> and at the beginning, it was a smaller brush. This has gotten bigger. He's kind of like oh, getting yeah. a larger I'm gonna size. I'm going to get the turbo one. It was half that size when he it's just become started. become metrosexual yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> you ready to join a heavy metal band yet? Not yet. Uh -huh. Not yet. So far, Dr. Romanelli says he's seen minimal to substantial growth in four out of five of our men. <laughs> We're going to check back in another six months to see how they're all doing after a full year. It's important to remember our Dateline hair project is an unscientific exercise. Your results may be different. Consult your doctor before starting any of these treatments. And while Paul already feels transformed, there's another big change coming for his family this holiday season. I believe my daughter, who is now 10, was the last time we had a Christmas picture with all of us together. 10 years ago? Yeah. So my other two kids have no Christmas pictures with mom and dad. Until now. Until now. Absolutely. And we wish them all luck. That's all for this edition of Dateline Friday. We're off Sunday, but join us for Dateline Monday, Princess Diana as you've never seen her. Tapes broadcast for the first time. Diana Revealed, Monday at 10, 9 central.